How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another build video for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Today we have the Elemental Spell Sword build. Now, this isn't just any Elemental Spell Sword build. We are incorporating a gray set in here, and that is the Grace of Yuanshi. Uh, so, looking at the bonuses here, uh, the uh, main one, the Principle of Yuanshi. Uh, when you hit an enemy with martial arts attack, you will gain up to three stacks of principle of Yuanshi. This, uh, using a wizardry spell while you have a stack, will greatly reduce wizardry spell sphere consumption in exchange for one stack. So I sat on this build for a while. I wasn't quite sure what to do with it, but thought about it some more. And it is pretty versatile um, in this case. Um, let's look at the stats. So... Allocation of stats, 20 wood, uh, 82 fire, earth, 40, metal, 10, and water, 2. And now, the reason why uh, fire, and, uh, fire and metal. Uh, so basically, um, if we look at the tool tips here, the, uh, the fire virtue governs uh, martial arts uh, spirit consumption. Uh, so you need to use martial arts to uh, get the stacks of Yuanshi. And then the Metal Virtue um, governs Spirit Consumed by Wizardry spells. And pretty much like after 10, uh, you see diminishing returns on that. So we mainly focused uh, Wood, Fire, Earth here. Because um, we are, like I said, a Elemental Spell Sword build. So using a lot of uh, weapon buffs. And we'll go into the bonuses on the, uh, on the set pieces in a minute here. So the build is all about really uh, these extra bonuses here. So spirit gain from normal attacks, uh, damage received while attacking, uh, positive effect duration. These two are most important: positive effect duration and elemental weapon, elemental imbued weapon damage. Uh, so being a spell sword with weapon buffs, those are the two most important. Uh, so here, this build is. Uh, going to be uh, your frugal build, if you will, uh, and pinching those pennies on the on the spirit bar. Uh, so basically, I I felt that um, with the weapon buffs, uh, those seem about average uh, of the road uh, in terms of uh, spirit consumed by by those spells. I mean, obviously, there are cheaper spells and there are much more expensive cells, uh, spells. Uh, so you're spending spirit on martial arts to get the stacks of Yuanchi, and then you get decreased costs for your uh, next uh, wizardry spells that you pull out with each of those three stacks. So you want to make that worth it and uh, the have the good cost uh, savings there on the spirit. So looking at the gear, um, elemental imbued damage, uh, weapon damage, restore HP on deflecting, positive effect duration, that positive effect duration on this as well, and elemental imbued weapon damage, store HP on deflecting critical blow. So the, the positive effect, we want to put that on a lot here so that we can extend those weapon buffs, spear consumption, toxic resistance, morale points gain. These are just some extra utility items in the ranged options. Positive effect duration, light resistance, stone resistance, ice attack power. So, like I said, we want to extend those buffs as long as possible. Got some more heavy accumulation on enemies, elemental imbued, weapon damage, damage received while attacking, and spirit gain from normal attacks. You get another bonus from the, uh, the gray set. Stacking on the gear. More positive effect duration. Negative effect duration on enemies. Spirit gain from normal attacks again. Positive effect duration here as well. Damage to enemies with negative effects. Negative effect duration on enemies and damage received. Martial arts damage. Negative effect duration on enemies. Damage received. And spirit gain from normal attacks yet again. Accessories. We have... Anything that we could fit in here. Spirit gain from normal attacks, damage reduction on HP recovery, copper, martial arts, spirit damage, positive effect duration yet again. 
negative effect duration on enemies, positive effect duration luck, and copper obtention. So for the spells, we're using lightning weapon, stone weapon, flame weapon, and elemental plague to extend the negative effects even further uh, when applying them to enemies. And then for the spirit, we are using Bixie because that has elemental imbued weapon damage, uh, morale points gain, uh, alliance spirit defense, and more positive effect duration. So that's really about it with the builds. Uh, like I said, this build is pretty versatile and you can do a lot of different things with it. Um, like I said, I, t I took a long time trying to figure out what would be the best thing to use here. And the, uh, the spell sword seemed like a good option. Um, you want those, uh, those cost savings on spirit, uh, to be as beneficial to you as possible. And then alongside that, you're getting extra, uh, duration with your, uh, your ailments and, uh, your weapon buffs with uh, all the stacks of positive effect duration. But I am curious, have any of you tried this gray set? What kind of build have you made with it? I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments. We did roll at least decent martial arts on the, uh, the halberds here and the, uh, the spear as well, uh, since we need martial arts to apply stacks of principle of Yuanshi. So that's a plus. But anyway, guys, that is about it for the Elemental Spell Sword build using the gray set of Yuanchi. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.